guys, good morning, welcome to our podcast. I'm Achen and my friend Ersan, we are going to discuss Matilda Novel. So before we talk further about Matilda, I will explain little about Matilda. So Matilda Wongwood is a child genius. She was able to read automatically by the age of 4 years and at the age of 5 years, she not only spent all children's books in public libraries, but also read books by great writers such as Charles Dickness, Ernest Hemingway to George Orwell. Matilda grew to be very bright at her age that was still that small, according to her teacher. In fact, she was already suitable to enter the university in the next two years. Iron Kelly, she does not live in the environment that she needs. Her father was a graffiting news car man who only loved his son. Her mother left him almost evening to play bingo at home. He faced both parents who always ignored him, even considered him scabby. Matilda had to work hard to remind them that she was old enough to go to school. And in the and in the end, when the when she entered school, challenge after challenge still had to be faced. She must meet a principal who is trying and hate children at home and at school. Matilda always meets monster adults like them don't even care that there's something special about Matilda, but instead of making mercy, Matilda in the future would invite amazement and louder. So, that is a little story about Matilda Wormwood, and now we are, we are going to discuss about Matilda Novel. Good morning, Ersan. How do you feel today? Good morning, Aten. I feel so fun today. And how about you? I hope you're alright. Oh, so fun? And I'm just fine. Yeah, by the way, yesterday is my birthday. Oh, really? And why you don't tell me that yesterday is your birthday? Oh, I'm sorry, because yesterday I, I was spending my time with my girlfriend, so I cannot tell you. Yeah, it's okay. And forget it. Now we will start our discuss today. So are you ready to start this discuss? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. After I read a little story of Matilda Wombut, what do you know about Matilda Wombut? In my opinion, Matilda is smart and extraordinary little girl. Just imagine, imagine that since childhood, she likes to read books. And the books Matilda read are not only ch- children's books, but also adults, adult books. And I think she is very extraordinary. So I am proud of Matilda, Matilda because she is still small, she is independent. And if possible, go back to childhood. I want to be like Matilda. Wow, so she is very extraordinary, right? And how about mom and dad and also Mikhail as sibling Matilda? What do you think about them? First, I want to talk about as Matilda's mother. I think that Matilda's mother doesn't deserve to be called a mother because she never takes care of Matilda. She is just busy playing bingo every day. And she always leaves Matilda alone in her home. Wow, that's so sad, right? Yeah, of course. As you, as you know that Matilda mother really hate Matilda. And she doesn't, doesn't really care what Matilda do. And her mother always ignores and always treats him badly. And what does Matilda do after her mother treated her like that? She always patient. But the age of six and a half years, Matilda began to lose patience with her parents. He then expressed his desire to go to school, but her parents openly refused and insulted him. And how about Matilda's father? Matilda's father is same with Matilda's mother. Her father is really hate Matilda, and even Matilda's father did not allow Matilda to attend school. Why Matilda parents really hate Matilda? I think that maybe Matilda parents didn't reject Matilda as their child. So that is why Matilda parents really hate Matilda, right? Of course, as you, as you know that because Matilda shouldn't be treated like that by her parents because Matilda is still small and Matilda must need love from her parents, not a root treatment. Okay, can you find the feature of speech of Matilda Novel? 
Yeah. The first, the parents looks upon Matilda in Persicola as nothing more than escape. Escape is something you have to put up with until the time comes when you can pick it off and flag it away. This metaphor aptly explains Matilda's parents' feelings about her. They are not actively cruel toward her the way Miss Dunswell is, but they simply tolerate her presence. Clearly irritated by how different she is from them and unwilling to show her the love and affection they should. Eventually, the time does come when they pick it off and fly it away. This happens when they allow Miss Honey to adopt Matilda, who shows her the love she never received from them. The second, Miss Transwell never worked. She always marched like a storm topper, with long strides and arms swinging. Ronald spends a lot of time describing Miss Transwell, allowing readers to get a clear picture of this terrible woman in their minds. The simile of Miss Transwell as a storm topper makes it clear how rigid, large, and very and very jiren. she is. Three qualities that are central to her character and that will come into play rapidly during the story. The third, her body was so slim and fragile one got the feeling that if she feel, she feel hours, she would smash into a thousand pieces. Like a porcelain figures, this simile comes when Roald Dahl is describing the way Miss, Miss Hannes looks. Comparing her to a porcelain doll's centuities, her delicacy and her outward beauty. It also sits her far apart from Miss Transball, who is a strong tropper. The two could not be more different, and the qualities that Roald Dahl highlights about its of they make this fate clear. The fourth, when at last the gem of a brilliant idea hit her, she began to expand on it and lay her plans with the same kind of care the Duke of Wellington and had done before the Battle of Waterloo. As Lavender crafts her plans to put a newt in the transverse water glass, Roald Dahl compares her accent to the Duke of Wellington, commanding a famous battle. This comparison raises seat stakes, making sure readers take Lavender's efforts seriously. It also continues the metaphor of a full-blown bar between the children and Miss Transball, complete with battles and soldiers and weapons. The fifth, she felt as though she had thought something that was not quite of this world. The highest point of the heavens, the farthest star, Dahl repeatedly describes Matilda's powers in terms of space and the heavens, making it clear that she is soaring far above the rest of the world in her mind in her mind when she used them. This moment after she has the child write a message to Miss Transport is particularly special. Since, since she has success in overcoming this best once and for all, helping not only herself, but Miss Honey and the rest of the school children Okay, can you find the exposition of Matilda novel? I feel that Miss Honey with Miss Transpol have a different character. Miss Honey she always kind to Matilda and always paid attention to Matilda and Miss Honey very fond of Matilda. Miss Honey was also very humble. And how about Miss Transpol? Miss Transmuller is the headmistress of Matilda's school. 
She is also the legal guardian of Miss Honey. Transport is a fearsome creature, and she utterly despises children. She is abusive toward Miss Honey as well as to her students, and frequently makes use of photo camera called to, to punish them. Matilda used her unequal powers to restore Miss Honey to her house and her rightful inheritance, and Transbol is never seen again. So, here Miss Honey has a good character, while Miss Transbol is very aired by children, right? Why does Miss Honey love Matilda so much? She became especially interested in her new st student Matilda. Because of her smart brain and love of books. So, because Matilda is very smart and genius. So, Miss Honey is really love Matilda, right? Okay. Okay, guys, we will continue after this one. Stay on the Matilda podcast. Guys, welcome back to our podcast. Ersan, how about implicit information of the story? Have you found it? I think about implicit information of this story is Matilda Wormwood is a brave and confident little girl with the power of telekinesis, a power that move move object objects and floats them in the air with her eyes. She is a smart little girl who educates herself. Unfortunately, she receives no support from her family. Okay, Ersan. How, is, how about culture bound content and diction used in the text? As we know that, novel is identical to a literary work in the form of process which is quite long and tends to be fictitious. A novel is based on on the building elements such as intrinsic and extrinsic elements. The novel that the uh, novel that the author reviewed in the final project was Tilet Matilda by a famous children's story writer from England, Roald Dahl. Dahl is famous for his imaginative work and plot wits. In the writer's opinion, it's difficult to guess. Matilda, according to the to the author, is an imaginary novel novel with a light theme, suitable for all age. However, in this novel, Dahl uses a lot of hyperbole in in describing the storyline storyline. This is the reason that underlies the order to review one of Roald Dahl's novels, namely Matilda. Matilda is a popular novel because the story is easy to understand and the other does not convolute in telling the story. Because this novel is intended for children, the story that is presented follows follow the author's Testis and imagination is uncomplicated and develops simply according to children's logic. This review aims to provide a general description of the contents of a novel. In re re reviewing a novel, it is important to have a review of intrinsic elements such as theme, plot, setting, characterization, mandate, and point of view as well as extrinsic elements in the form of the outer social and physiological, physiological factors that greatly influence the other style in 
conveying a story. The rev reviewer only shows the general pictures and the readers then give a assessment of the quality of a novel. This project provides a brief review of the strengths and weakness of Matilda accompanied by a brief biography of the outdoor of the outdoor. Through this review, readers can get a glimpse of the contents of Matilda's novel along with the outdoor and some of these words. Okay. And what message you want to convey to viewers of the story? Well, so I can say that Matilda has parents who are indif indifferent and arguably favorism. In fact, Matilda is a smart kid. Smart kid. Unfortunately, Matilda's parents thought that Matilda was a noisy child. Too much interference and no use. But at a very young age, Matilda was very brave about it all. She lived his days patiently, even though she was often schooled, schooled by his parents. Not to mention the problems faced by Matilda at school, so, so my message to all of us is stay, stay patient in facing problems or obs obstacles. Just ima imagine that Matilda is still very small. She has learned to be independent and patient in facing all trials. So that is the moral message we can take from Matilda and I hope we can do it. Thank you for your time today. So good morning and see you next time. See you. Thank you. you have